Hey guys, welcome back to Dig It with Raven. We are now at the final episode of our Troy reaction video. This is part three. This is the epic ending of the film, the highlights of the film that you've been waiting for. And just hang on to your seats, guys, because it's going to be a wild ride. Let's go. Right, look what you did. Look what you did. She still kind of has this like silly dumb look on her face, like, oh me? Yeah. What? That's because she can't emote. She can't, <laughs> she can't move her face. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven forbid she gets wrinkles. So how good was Botox in the Bronze Age? Like. <laughs> <laughs> In the film, he yeah. doesn't run away. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You know, in the Iliad, he just like runs away from the killing. <laughs> they run around Troy for like three times. Right? Yeah. Just keep yeah. going. So at least here he stands his and ground. Yeah. That would be horrible to watch as a plot. Like a chase scene. Time. They could have done a chase scene. No. Another power pose. pose. Yes. That's the pose right there. Slay queen. Oh, Helen, don't go comforting her. Come on. I don't think... Why would uh, the wife of Hector like Helen at all? Yeah. Like, yeah. They, she should hate her the most. Yeah. Right. Well, not even just her. No, yeah, Paris. Paris. Paris, yeah. yeah. Paris too. Achilles makes a secret pact and I have to honor it. What prison is this? Consorting with the enemy king. Giving him 12 days of peace. 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 Wait, 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 what did he give him? 12 days of peace. Sorry? Peace. Was it peace? Peace. Yeah. Peace. Peace. <laughs> 12 days of peace? Can all the classicists, when we, when you make this video, tell us if the coin thing is right. real? Hey guys, oh, yeah. we're still, we're, we've been arguing about the coin thing for like, ever, so if anyone knows anything about this coin on the eyes and bronze, they just put down in the comments below because uh, we're gonna kill each other if we keep arguing about it. Yeah. So, when did they start doing this? Please tell us, because we need to know. That's where he gets the idea! What? what? It's Oh, uh, that's like horse number what, four or five now? Yeah. Either you were cutting. No way. No. <laughs> I kind of forgot. Oh, uh, we lost our horsey count. If we go by the timeline of this movie, the whole thing only took 16 days. Yeah. 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 Not the 10 years. Not no. a really heroic, fabled war, honestly. No, no, no the 10 day no. war. So, on the Trojan horse. <laughs> we could do an entire episode or even two talking about all the different inaccuracies of the Trojan horse that's in the movie, but we'll just stick to a few of the main ones here. The main one is that Achilles wasn't even alive by the time the Trojan horse came to being. He had been killed beforehand. So the whole dramatic love hunt for Briseis at the end by Achilles is totally made up and is a Hollywood dramatic ending that we all love for, for Hollywood purposes. I think we should burn it. Burn it, my prince. It's a gift to the gods. The prince is right. The only good idea Paris had the entire time, and now they don't listen to him. Yeah, yeah that's Burn true. It. That seems like an accurate epic thing. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, I, think, I think that's probably the best one. The horse does resemble the one in Chinecle. True. It, it is. No, it's the one in Chinecle is the film prop. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. That's a Greek statue. Yeah, yep. definitely a Greek. Oh, yeah. Damn it, I'm so confused. Me too. It's a long way, quick. Hurry, there's a tunnel. So, Hector's wife and the kids did not survive the Trojan War, unfortunately. But what did happen to them? During the Trojan War, Andromache hid the kid in Hector's tomb. However, she herself was captured and enslaved. Their son, however, had his fate debated after he was discovered. They thought that he might try to raise an army and restore the glory of Troy 
and so in the end, they decide to kill him. Because there are so many writings on the Trojan War, there is a lot of debate as to who killed Hector's son, Astyanax. In the version given by the Little Iliad and repeated later by Pausanias, he was killed by Neoptolemus or Pyrrhus, as some sources call him. In other versions, it's Odysseus who actually throws the infant baby off the walls of Troy. Minded though that he dies. Oh, right. <laughs> no, definitely because he's he's painted as the villain in this movie for sure. Well, he is. They need an antagonist, well, an antagonist for the movie. All right, let's talk about our favorite brothers in this film, or our least favorite brothers, Agamemnon and Menelaus. In reality, they both survive. Both Agamemnon and Menelaus end up being victorious at Troy, and they go back home. What happens after the war is that Helen goes back to Menelaus, and they all just go back to Sparta, and he continues to rule there until his death. What happened with Agamemnon is that he was actually killed by his son Orestes because he had sacrificed his own daughter Iphigenia in order for the Greeks to have safe passage to Troy. So, you know, the brother was a little bit angry about that, so there was a little bit of revenge. And these stories both take place in plays that were written around the 5th century BCE, which means that it was pretty much common knowledge that both of them survived the war and returned back to Greece. No! <laughs> But okay, there's one thing I still don't understand. If it was his only vulnerable place in his body, then how come still, like... It's normally you don't die when you yeah, get shot in the heel. All right, maybe well, all of the poison. poison. Yeah, it's poison. In the end, it's, po it's in, in oh, yeah. the cycle, it's poison. Yeah, it's but now true. here, it's just like... Just you could have shooting. also made the argument that like all of his vulnerability <laughs> is it's packed into his packed heel. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've all heard the term Achilles heel before, and if you didn't, then you at least know where it is on your body, right? Legend goes that the mother of Achilles, Thetis, was so afraid of him dying that she uh, wanted him to have the best protection as possible. So she dumped him into the river Styx, but you can't let go of a person when dumping them into the river Styx because they'll die. So she held him at his ankle, the part which we still call the Achilles heel. As such, he became invincible everywhere on his body except for the part which his mother held. Although Achilles' death is predicted into the uh, Iliad, it's never actually told. It is described in later Greek and Roman writings that take place after the Iliad. Achilles may not have died actually from a wound to his heel because the myths surrounding the story are not the same. He could actually have died from a wound to his torso, his knee, or whatever, just wherever a poisoned arrow would kill you, which is basically everywhere in your body. That part is true. So the poison, poisoned arrow of Paris is the same in every myth. In the movie, however, there are no poison arrows, which is like the part of the myth that stays always the same, but they just shoot a bunch and he's dead. Paris! Except that he still doesn't listen. No. Like, she's begging him to not yeah. kill him. Right. Paris definitely does whatever he, he wants with this movie. <laughs> like, I get it, he killed your brother, but like... But your brother killed his cousin, and... Oh, the last oh. power pose. I don't think that's you a power pose. Look at that That's a good pose. That's even, a really good yeah, pose. Yeah, yeah, even in death, know. that's a pretty decent pose. Yeah. Yep. Let them say I lived in the time of Hector, breaker of horses. Let them say I lived in the time of Achilles. Mm -hmm. The end! <laughs> Woo! We did it! Oh. Wow! We live! We did it! All right, guys, we have done it. That is the end of our three-part series reacting to the 2004 movie, Troy. Hope you enjoyed it. We had so much fun filming this, and I hope that you guys enjoyed just as uh, watching it just as much as we enjoyed making it. If you liked the video, go ahead and smash that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on all of the other amazing reaction videos that I have in store for you guys. Big thanks to all of my patrons over on Patreon. If you like this YouTube channel, and you just want to 
you know, help support me and what I've been doing, go ahead and become a patron over on Patreon. The link is in my description down below. And as always, stay dirty, my friends.